Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. So today we'll be looking at the stomach. We'll be looking at the stomach. So the stomach is defined as a J-shaped muscular organ that is situated in the left hypochondrium of the abdomen. So this is the position of the stomach. This is the stomach, and this is how the stomach lies. You can see that it lies in the left hypochondrium of the abdomen. So the stomach, this is the stomach, is a J-shaped muscular organ that lies in the left hypochondrium of the abdomen. So the stomach helps in digestion. The two main functions of the stomach is that it helps as, uh, to serve as a temporary reservoir of food and it also helps mainly in digesting of food. So we will bring out the stomach, we cut out the stomach and bring it out so that we will see the other fissures of the stomach. So when we say that the stomach is J shaped, this is what we mean. So if you look at here now, you notice that the stomach is actually J shaped so you can see the j shape of the stomach even if you turn it around you can also see j shape of the stomach so the stomach has two opening and two end this part is known as the cardiac end and this is known as the pyrolytic end then the this opening here is known as the cardiac opening. This is the opening that continues from the esophagus. So this is known as the cardiac opening or cardiac orifice. And it has a, a sphincter known as the cardiac sphincter. Although the cardiac sphincter is not uh, anatomically visible. Then this part is known as the pyrolytic end. And the pyrodic end, as you can see, continues with the first part of the duodenum. And this pyrodic end contains the pyrodic sphincter. So you can see band of muscles or hypertrophy of muscles here. And this hypertrophy of muscles made this to be very thick, as you can see. So this uh, muscles serve as a sphincter. This is actually known as the pyrolytic sphincter, which controls the passage of digested food from the stomach to the duodenum. Then, having seen these two ends, let's look at the curvatures of the stomach. The stomach has two curvatures. The first one is the lesser curvature. So this is the lesser curvature. You can see how it is curved. This is the lesser curvature. Why this is the greater curvature? So this is the greater curvature. You can actually compare the two curves and know the reason why one is called the greater and the other one is called the lesser. You can see this is this curvature is less. Why this curve is greater? So that is where the name came from. Then, having seen the cause of the stomach or the curvatures of the stomach, so the lesser curvature contains a depression here. If you notice here, the lesser curvature contains a depression. And this depression is known as the angular notch. This is known as the angular notch is a depression in the lesser curvature. So having said that, so let's go over to the different parts of the stomach. Now the first part of the stomach is around here. Around here. So this is the known as the cardiac part of the stomach. Then the second part is this part that is protruded above the cardiac part this protruded part here you can see it is protruded 
it is known as the fundus of the stomach. So this is the fundus of the stomach. Then we have the third part. This is the body of the stomach. This is the body of the stomach. Then this one is the pyloric part. So let me repeat the parts. This is the cardiac part. Here is the cardiac part. Here is the fundus. So you can see the fundus. Here is the body of the stomach. Why here is the pyloric part of the stomach? Then the pyloric part is divided into two. You can see this thicker part and this uh, smooth part. It is less thick when compared to this part. So this part now is known as the pyloric antrum. This is known as the pyloric antrum. Why this part is known as the pyloric canal? And the pyloric canal contains the pyloric sphincter, like I said initially. So why this is the pyloric antrum? This is the pyloric canal. Then having said that, let's uh, go over to the vessel in the stomach. Then, um, around the lesser curvature, around the lesser curvature, the gastric artery and vein are found around the lesser curvature. So this is the right, the one coming from the pyloric part is the right gastric artery and vein. They are together. The right gastric artery and vein. While the one coming from the cardiac part is the left gastric artery and vein. So the right gastric artery and astomus are joined together with the left gastric artery. So this is the right gastric artery. If you check, this is the right gastric artery. This is the left gastric artery and astomusin. Then, if you come over to the greater curvature, you can see this artery. The one coming from the pyroidic part is known as the right gastroepiploic artery. While the one coming from the cardiac part is known as the left gastroepiploic artery. So, that is it for the stomach. So, I said that the stomach is just shaped which I showed us and I told us that it has the cardiac orifice and the cardiac orifice contains the cardiac sphincter which is not anatomically visible. So this part continues from the esophagus. Why this part is known as the pyloric end which contains the pyloric sphincter and it is continuous with the duodenum. It is continuous with the duodenum. So I also said that this is the lesser curvature of the stomach and this is the angular notch in the lesser curvature. This is the greater curvature of the stomach. So this is the greater curvature of the stomach. Then having said that, I told us that the stomach is divided into four parts, which is the, the cardiac part. So here is the cardiac part. Here is the fundus. This is the fundus. Here is the body. And here is the pyloric part. And the pyloric part is further divided into the pyloric antrum and the pyloric canal. So, Let's talk about the bed of the stomach or the stomach bed. So if you look at the stomach now, this is the anterior part of the stomach. And the anterior part of the stomach lies or is related to the anterior abdominal wall. Why the posterior part of the stomach is related to other visceral organs or other internal organs. So the stomach bed simply means the structures that the stomach lies on. You know what a bed does? When you lie on a bed, it becomes a bed and you lie on it. Then stomach bed means that 
the stomach lie on these structures. So the posterior part of the stomach, this is the anterior that is related to the anterior abdominal wall. Why the posterior lie on top of other organs, which includes the left crease of the diaphragm, the splenic artery, the spleen, the left kidney, the left suprarenal gland, and the uh, pancreas. So these organs uh, are the beds of the stomach. That is to say that the posterior part of the stomach lie on top of these organs. So we'll be opening the uh, stomach to see one or two fissures there also. Okay, so as you can see now, the wall of the stomach is already collapsed, just like you can see. We cut it open and remove the content, so you can see that the wall is collapsed. So look at the, the inner mucosa of the stomach. This is the inner mucosa of the stomach. Now, there is something called the gastric lorge or the stomach lorge. Eh? Can you see these folds, these mucosa folds? The reason why it is not visible here is because at the point of death, the stomach is uh, filled. But had it been that the stomach is empty at the point of death, it would have been more visible. Because the work of this logger is it helps the stomach to expand when the stomach is filled. Then when the stomach is emptied, it comes back. But the reason why it kind of disappeared here or is not very obvious in this stomach is because at the point of death, uh, the stomach is filled. So what we can at least see some little uh, logger. Even towards the pyrodic part, you can also see that it is uh, more visible this side. So this is called the, the rubber of the stomach. So you can see it. This is the way it is supposed to be throughout the wall of the stomach. But because this stomach was, uh, it was filled at the point of death, so that's why it disappeared. But towards this part, this is the stomach rubber. And you notice tiny, tiny, hole. You notice tiny, tiny holes. Can you see this hole? Can you see another hole? Can you see another hole? So these tiny, tiny holes that I am pointing out, this is known as the gastric pit. Eh? It is known as the gastric pit here, here, and here. It is too many. Eh? And the gastric glands open into the stomach through the gastric teeth. So when the stomach is filled and uh, the gastric gland wants to secrete enzyme, digestive enzyme, it is through this gastric teeth that it secretes it into the stomach. So we've come to the end of this teaching. I will encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Chisum Great. Like this video, share this video to your friends. Thank you very much.